Where the blue of the night I love you. Meets the gold of the day Someone waits for me goodness look at all of you my goodness gracious I must say it's really a, a thrill to be back here at the Cicada Club and I must tell you this is a we got a big night here my goodness I mean there's so many of you it looks like I'm looking at a tree full of vowels and that's not because of all the pseudoephedrine and the other fredrines I've been taking and ladies and gentlemen welcome to the program we have a a wonderful night plan for you and for a man that is barely living I am going to one more time are you ready, ladies? Because from this end, it looks pretty good to me. What do you say we give it just one more time? Dean, give me some travel and music. The Satin Dolls. And I want to tell you, I want to tell you, you can tell now that we don't rehearse. But it's a very expensive show, folks. You know, I'm out of breath. And before I do something, you know, I've been under the weather for a while, since 1969. And uh, my nurse is here. It's her night off. Where are you, nurse? Where are you? Makes you want to stay ill, I believe me, huh? Oh, you got your little bag and everything. Come on up here. Yes. <laughs> What's in that thing there? Because I'm, I'm having trouble breathing right now. How about your blood pressure, Mr. I don't have any blood, so you won't get any. Well, I think I should listen to your heartbeat. My dear, I gave it away many years ago. It's a very decrepit heart. What else do you have? Well, how, how about if I check your ears, Mr. Oliver? My ears are fine. Sue Lin just did them. And what else? What is this? Did you want? No, no, no. <laughs> well, thank you. And isn't she lovely? Miss Jolie Blonde, my nurse. Thank you, sweetheart. After the show, after the show, you're young, you need time to temper. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to tell you, I'm thrilled and delighted to tell you that tonight I have invited some very special friends here. And throughout the evening, I'm going to try to point them out to you. But I really want to say this, and I really mean that. I want to thank my musical director, Mr. Dean Mora, for all the music you're going to hear tonight, and our marvelous band, because I'm telling you right now, we got the best band you're ever going to hear. And tonight, I want to tell you, I invited some friends of mine, and the, someone who's been spinning the Rusty Dusties and the Golden Goodies forever, Mr. Chuck Cecil, right over here, of the Swingin' Years. He's a hero of mine, and I'm so glad Chuck and his wife Edna are here. Stand up, Chuck, let the folks say hello to you. He's been, he started in radio before Marconi. He's been around forever. And he and Edna have been married forever too. And Chuck, you are loved. And you not only educate, but you entertain. And I appreciate your being here. I want to also introduce, ladies and gentlemen, you, you know him because he created and produced some of the most memorable programs in television history. When I was a young man, his shows were very big. Magnum P.I., Knight Rider, uh, let me see, I watched The Hardy Boys. Remember that one? 
Do you remember Battlestar Galactica? Well, there were so many of these shows, beginning with my favorite, It Takes a Thief, with Robert Wagner. I think Gene Barry was in that one. Glenn Larson, right over there. Glenn Larson, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? He got his start singing with the original Four Preps. Now, I, he was a Capitol recording artist. I couldn't even get on the Vocalion label. I mean, that's pretty good. And I want to also introduce some ver a very special friend of mine because th this particular individual provided me with these lovely links that I'm wearing tonight. He and his wife have been so wonderful to me. He is not only a, a, a gracious man of the old school, but he and his wife have just taken to this place like white covers rice. And Ruth, you never look lovelier, Hutton and Ruth Wilkinson. And sitting with them, very dear friends of mine, former president of 20th Century Fox and his lovely wife, they're always traveling, Terry and Dennis Stanfill. Welcome back from Thailand. Dennis is a wonderful fellow and Terry wrote a book that you can get on Amazon called Realms of Gold. It's a highly recommended read. And with them are two of our greatest angels in the city of Los Angeles. Their generosity is only exceeded by their kindness. Mr. Jerry and Gail Oppenheimer, right over there. He always looks like Mr. First Snyder. And I cannot ignore the fact that I was fortunate to snag a, a friend of mine who brought some very nice people with him tonight. First of all, I should introduce, uh, remember Emily Burgle? She was on last April with us. She was on Desperate Housewives, and the night she was on, she got shot or she died or something. Well, here's the man who created the show for Desperate Housewives, Mark Cherry, right over there. And sitting next to him is a man who exceeded everyone's expectations because he took over popular music and he made it his own and he is the finest performer of American popular music that we know today. He's kept it alive, he's my friend and I'm so delighted he is here, Michael Feinstein. <laughs> Who, whose Sinatra project was just nominated for an Emmy Award last week. He's working with Bill Elliott. Where are you Cassie? Cassie Miller, stand up. Cassie Miller right back there. I want to tell you, one of my favorite band singers who sang with Bill for years. By the way, I want to tell you, sitting next to Michael is a lovely lady who I must get to know better. It's interesting because her late husband was Uncle Bing's attorney. But more importantly, and I think this is important too, she's doing an awful lot through a foundation that she set up for Alzheimer's, and I think that Kate deserves some praise for that. But her father produced The Big Valley with Barbara Stanwyck, and I know that she's working on a film of the same name right over here, Kate Edelman, right over there, Kate Edelman Johnson. And you know, it's always nice when you can meet someone who can help someone else. And it's with Michael's performing, well, his producer is also his partner, Terrence Flannery, right over there. He's the quiet one, and he's probably making sure everything works. And sitting next to Terrence are Michael's parents. I want you to meet Maisie and Ed. Isn't that nice? They're all here. I guess they want to make sure that their son did well. Now there's other people I can introduce to you and I will throughout the evening, but right now I'm feeling this in my heart. And I want to say hello to my friend Sanford Cohen of State Sales Los Angeles right over there because I'm going to tell you something. He has helped me get rid of so much stuff that if you want to buy vintage clothing, vintage anything, go to estate sales, is it LA or Los Angeles? Estate sales, LA or Los Angeles.com. You ladies especially, because he's handled some very nice high-end outfits. And speaking of high-end, you know, when I wake up in the morning and I have to deal with father time, and I look at my mirror, and I, a, a song comes to mind, and I think Dean's gonna give us the downbeat on this one, Dean. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is for the very 
extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you adore and love is all that I can give to you love is more than just a game for two two in love can make it take my heart but please don't break it love was made for me and you boys Mr. Tedesco, talk to me, talk to me. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one that I see V is for the very extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you adore and love is all that I can give to you and love is more than just a game for two not two in love can make it take my heart of Please don't break it, love was made for me and you. Love was made for me and you. Love was made for me and you. Thank you, boy. That's very nice, Chris. Thank you, boys. Thank you so very much. No, and I love the fact that you're all here tonight. A gentleman was kind enough to drive all the way from Palm Springs. You see, I did this party for uh, some friends of mine, Bob and Sanford, had this marvelous party. And they had an, a, a piano player who I thought was so wonderful. And I called him up and I asked him if he could come and, and play one song for me. And he drove all the way from Palm Springs. He has played for Queen Elizabeth twice. He has uh, performed with John Williams and the Boston Pops. And I got to tell you, uh, he used to manage the music at some 17 Ritz Carlton's. Please meet Chuck Ensley. Chuck, welcome. Come on up here, Chuck. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a leap. I did that once and I split my pants. Now, um, I must tell you, I am heavily medicated tonight, but I must say, Chuck and I, no, it's true. I, I've been very good. I haven't been drinking. I've got my electronic cigarette. But we're going to do a song that I had Pam, uh, Pamela requested it, June requested it. And uh, let me see, I had five requests. I was very surprised of this marvelous old song. I do this tune too often, but I think this man plays it so well. Why don't we try it, huh? Getting me a nice intro? Drag it out. Show them what you can do, kid. Am I dreaming or am I awake? I can't believe my eyes. Is it really true? Is it all just a lovely mistake? This heavenly surprise, me alone with you, without. A word of warning, my life has begun Without a word of warning, two hearts beat as one From out of nowhere you came to me A breeze passed by Whispering your name to me Without a word of warning And strange as it seems We kiss And with that kiss You invaded my dreams 
I don't know how it happened, but out of the blue up above, you came along to answer my song of love. Oh, go, Carmen, go. <laughs> with feeling, with feeling. I love the way this kid plays. Without a word of warning, and strange as it seems, we kissed, and with a kiss, you invaded my. I don't know how it happened, but out of the blue up above, you came along to answer my song of love. Without a word of warning, and thank you so much, Chuck. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Stick around. Chuck Ensley, ladies and gentlemen. What a nice fella to come all this way. And I'll tell you, he's a marvelous, marvelous pianist. He really is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to bring in my first guest. We always like to introduce you to new performers. And this young lady has a wonderful CD out there. She's currently performing in Universal City, and I'd like you to say hello and give a nice cicada welcome to our first guest tonight, Miss Melody Federer. And here you are. How are you? Tonight, I'm gonna be singing my favorite song of all time from World War II. It's called, I'll Be Seeing You. Well, I don't think anyone's ever done that here before. And uh, actually, well, no, I'm serious. I think it's wonderful because it's one of my favorite songs. You know who also sings that here? And I love you, Tony. We miss you, Tony Prima. I know you're not feeling well, sweetheart, but we know you'll be here when we return in August. So, Melody, I want you to do your best and I'll come back up. So, right. Melody Federer to sing, I'll be seeing you. And pay attention. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places that this heart of mine embraces all day through in that small cafe the park across the way the the Children's carousel of oh, the chestnut trees, the wishing well. Ah, I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day, in everything that's light and gay. I'll always think of you that way I'll find you in the morning sun and when the night is new I'll be looking at the moon but I'll be seeing you Chestnut 
the trees They're wishing where oh, 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 I'll be seeing you In every lovely summer's day In everything that's light and gay I'll always think of you that way I'll find you in the morning sun and when the night is new I'll be looking at the moon but I'll be seeing you Thank you, Melody, sweetheart. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. My goodness. Listen, I want to tell you, I want to say something that is important to each and every one of you, and I'm being serious as a heart attack. Because right now, I have to make my pitch for something that matters to every single one of us. Because right now, we need help. And I'm not talking about River City and all that. I'm talking about the USO. I want you to look right over there and I want to introduce you to the gentleman who just stepped down as the executive director of the Greater Los Angeles USO, Michael Tileman, Brigadier General, United States Army, and he's with the lovely Linda. Stand up. And he is seated with Lieutenant Colonel Bradley Niederhauser, United States Army also, and he's with his lovely wife, Louisa. And over there is Sergeant First Class Samuel Adams, and I believe he's also with one of our USO volunteers, Cindy Irwin. Am I correct? I am correct. I want anyone who has served in the armed forces of our great country to stand up right now so we can say thank you for your service, all of you. I know that you're here. God bless you, and thank you for your service. I regret that I was not able to attend Armed Forces Night, but I want you to know, right now, we've got a lot of people overseas doing a lot of heavy lifting, and you can help the USO by going to www.bobhopeuso.org. Remember, they not only help our troops, they help their families. And remember this also, and I mean this with all my heart and soul, any elected official that dares touch veterans' benefits medical care for any of our veterans, get rid of them. They don't belong in elected office. We, those people put their lives on the line so that you and I can enjoy this evening and the freedom of this great country. Remember the USO, those fellas and gals need your help. Remember, bobhopeuso.org and thank you very much. I get a little Billy Grahamish about this, don't I? Goodness. And now ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite Prez Prado numbers because the Latin airs are coming back on August 10th. I believe it's August 10th, Friday the 10th, and I'm gonna be here to dance with Rusty Frank because I love to rumba with you, my darling. Rusty, listen to Mambo number, Mambo Jumbo. Here's the, da here's the band with Dean Mora conducting. You wanna try?
have is Mambo Jambo, played by Dean Mora and the Melody Boys. And uh, Rusty, thank you for that lousy dance. <laughs> I didn't take enough of my vitamins. They don't make chocks anymore. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before I move on, we have a... There was someone I wanted to say something. I'm sorry. Wait, we just had one act. I don't know. What? Yes. Yeah. What are you doing with that? What are you doing? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. What is she, she's got, who are you? What are you, what, girls? Yes. Wait, what is this? What, ow, Jesus, what, what the, what are you? Uh, Yes, I'm Johnny Holiday. Well, hello. Oh, goodness, that's I'm loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girls. Who are you? Well, Mr. Holiday, I am. I am Coco. I am president of the Newark chapter of the Johnny Holiday fan club. And my name is Ruby, and I'm co-president of, of the president. Newark chapter. I'm the co-president. Co you're the co-president. Correct. And you're the president. President. I'm the co-president. Why don't you grab a mic? Because you girlies, uh, I was uh, in the midst of. We're about to do a number. Oh, Mr. Holiday. Yes. Seeing you in person, it's like a dream come true. Well, I understand, but still, you're interrupting the show. Oh, well, I mean, I just... gotta move on. We have things to do. Well, Music. we're sorry. We just what wanted to What is she doing up... with that? Well, I brought your photograph, Mr. Holiday. I was uh, so look at that. That's a very old, old photograph. Uh, actually, I, I, I just wanted... wanted all these beautiful people to see it. Do you see this, Mr. Now, Holiday? It's signed. Wait a second, Tupoco. girls. Isn't now, that love? Mr. To... Holiday. Your name is. I'm sorry. Johnny I'm sorry. What is your name? I'm Coco. And I'm Ruby. You're so okay. Well, it's very nice to have you girls, but well, I, I'm you. really we're in the middle M of the Mr. show. Mr. Holiday, I and think you forgot to send me a picture. What are you What are you talking well, about? I, I don't it, even know how she got that one. I sent in all those box tops and a, and a ten cent dime for you from all those crackling brand flakes. <laughs> I, I was licking brand? stamps for three not, weeks. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I I don't know why you didn't get the picture. It looks like your friend got a picture. I must though. have been lost. Well, president. I can I get you so a sad. picture. We'll get you a picture. But girls, seriously, now you're very pretty. Well, uh, thank you. You must be the younger of the two, oh, are you? Well, actually, Mr. Holiday, I just am. You just... Well, Mr. Holiday, you're no Huckleberry Finn yourself. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, well, nice. It's, wait it's a minute. Mr. Holiday. Huckleberry. All right, all right. Now, that's enough. Now, enough nonsense. Now, you girls are from Newark, New Jersey. That's correct. You've come here to Los Angeles. That's correct. And I assume it's because you want to get into the business. Well, we would like to break into the to the business of Hollywoodland, 1941. We would like our name in lights. 19, 1941. I'm sorry, 1941. Correct. 41. And we heard Clark Gable might be here tonight, so oh. we also decided. But girl, well, hopefully girls, Mr. Gable it's, it's, has my it's picture. It's not 1941. Yeah. No, in our minds it is, but yes. it, you know, you go outside, I assure you, that man yes. who's going to ask for 20 bucks is not from 1941. A whole 20? A whole 20 dollars. Yes, I know, it's your rent. Well, that's but, all rent. Uh, well, show us some talent. Do you have some singing or dancing, or what do you do? Well, well I, I might have we a can tune. do something for you. Can you do something? Well, sure. Shall I, you want to use the well, band? Well, hello, boys. Well, I'll give you do the you whole organization. Do you want to hear what guys doing tonight? Oh. Coco and Ruby. Well, Hi. Well, I never. Hello. I'm going to put this right here. I just want to boogie, boogie tonight. I just want to boogie with my baby tonight. I just want to boogie, boogie tonight. I want to boogie with my baby tonight. If I'm a little lonely, the telephone will ring and it's my man on the line. I got one ambition, gonna turn on his ignition, rev the motor up and boogie with my baby. He says we're going dancing, so I'm wearing something sexy cause I know what he likes. I got one desire, gonna start a raging fire, turn the heater up and boogie with my baby. I'm so lucky that I found him, that boy's a real McCoy. Anytime that I'm around him, I just gotta jump for joy. He doesn't have to tell me, I know how much he wants me by the look in his eye. I know what he's craving, the love that I've been saving, and tonight I'm gonna boogie with my baby. Anytime that I'm 
I know how much he wants me by the look in his eye. I know what he's craving, the love that I've been taping, and tonight I'm gonna boogie with my baby. I just wanna boogie, boogie tonight. I just wanna boogie with my baby tonight. I just wanna boogie, boogie tonight. I wanna boogie with my baby tonight. I just wanna boogie, boogie tonight. I just wanna boogie with my baby tonight. I just wanna boogie, boogie tonight. I wanna boogie with my baby tonight. Oh, oh my! Why, thank you. Why look at all these beautiful people out here. Oh, Mr. Holiday, how thank you so much. Well, girls, I must say, for an unrehearsed, unplanned bit, that was very fun and well, very thank cute. You. That's all uh, nice I've you. never heard of that song. Oh. Is well, it, thank you. It's an old song. Well, it, it's very old. It, right. It's written by Adrian Ross and Joel Evans. That's very it's good. A, it's a lovely little tune, and you can find tune. that tune it's on, Canada, on a guess. record marvelous, named yeah. Changing My Tune. Changing My Tune. Well, isn't that catchy? Oh, I think there's a young lady from Chicago who recorded that. I, I, oh, I think my. I remember, yes. Well, you know what? Since we've got you lovely ladies here, even though you said I'm no Huckleberry Finn, that's well, really funny. I met it in a nice Please way, Johnny. Well, we love help. you, Mr. We'll get Holiday. you your photograph from the Crackly oh. Grain Flakes oh. people. But girls, no, I'm gl grateful to have you here. Your hands are oh, very thank cold. You. Oh, thank you. Or I'm, I'm very, just very nervous, warm. Mr. Holiday. So you uh, have something else you can do for us before I move on? Because well, I got a gotcha. whole show here still. Yeah, we'll just do a little one. How about just a little one? All right. It's you a sing-along. Oh, I see this man. Oh. He looks very impatient. We'd like to bring up uh, uh, just our favorite ukulele player, All Jordan right, well, I'm going to move so he can come on up here. What's your come name? Come on in. His name? his name is Jordan Bennett, and we like to call him the Duke Hi, of Uke. Very nice to meet you. Call me, uh -huh. sir. Yes, sir. Can we can sure give it a shot. Can I get you to hold this for me, dear? This one's a sing-along. Oh, this is so exciting. Coco, look at all these beautiful people here tonight. <laughs> all right. It's just the best night ever. Way down in the Congo land lived a happy chimpanzee. Well, she loved a monkey with a long tail. And Lordy, how she loved him. Each night he would find her there swinging in the coconut tree. Did you buy that on eBay? <laughs> no, I mean, those, I get three bucks at the, the farmer's market with those. I want to thank them. Uh, that's Coco and Ruby. You can catch them on the internet, but I like to think of them as Miss Courtney Freed and Rebecca Johnson. And I got to tell you, Courtney's appeared on my show many times. She used to sing at the Drake Hotel, and she's a wonderful, wonderful singer. Now, do you see what's happening here? 
And I need to clear the dance floor because it's that time for those eight lovely ladies of dance and song, my favorite gal pals, although I got a lot of them here tonight. Where are the Lindy sisters? Girls, I just want to say thank you for coming. You look gorgeous in your dresses. Where are you? Where are they? I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, there you are. Hello, sweethearts. The Lindy sisters, we're gonna have them back here soon, but right now it's time for the Satin Dolls, and I believe it's Honolulu. That's great after the ukulele number. I love it. Where can you go and see that, even in the West Side? I have to say, love it. Aren't they great, the Satin Dolls? 
And you know, there, I think four of them, their parents are here tonight, and I want to thank them for raising such wholesome, lovely young ladies, because that's the only way we grow them in the U.S. of A. And now, got to think of a segue, because I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Where are we? Ed? Ed, where's the tote boy? No, where are we? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted. You know, he was here last year, and I had to beg him to return to our show. And he is without a doubt. By the way, he's sitting with someone I just adore because, you know, he's running the Planetary Society. And he, you all know him from television, Bill Nye, the science guy, right over there. Bill Nye. But I gotta tell you, I don't know why I'm standing here, but it feels like I'm more grounded. But ladies and gentlemen, this man has done everything. Theater, motion pictures, and television. He's a wonderful actor, and he is a dear friend of mine. I love him very much, love his family, and I'm so glad that he is here tonight. Would you please welcome our friend, Robert Picardo. Hello, Bob. There you go, there you go. Thanks, Johnny. You're very welcome. And Bob, you know, Bob is, uh, Bob is a, an experienced actor. And I, I just want the folks to know how you got your start when you were at Yale. Would you mind just letting them know? Because I think it's interesting. Uh, well, um, I, was, uh, I was in a production of Leonard Bernstein's Mass yes. that the maestro came up to see from Washington, D.C. And he was so impressed that he took our production to premiere in uh, to premiere in Vienna, Austria. Really? Now so, you yes. were a pretty little squab then, you were I, a young fellow. I, I was, uh, I was um, only 19 years old, I had a giant head of hair like this. Those, really? were, those were happy times. Really, well I'm sure they were, but Bob, I gotta tell you, Bob and I were over at my house with Dean, and Adam was there for some odd reason. If you notice the bad cologne, it was high karate he was wearing. High karate, who wears that? But Bob, you told us about working with Fernando Lamas, and I just love your impression of him. On The Dream Merchants with Ray Milland and who else was in it? Uh, uh, Arlene, not Arlene Dahl. Uh, uh, everyone, everyone who you hadn't seen at that point in 20 years was right, in it, exactly. basically. But I loved your Fernando Lamas yes, impression. Um, it was very good. Uh, Fernando uh, said to me, yes, Bob, uh, uh, please. And, and of course, Esther. <laughs> yes, so that was how Esther he introduced Williams, his wife. Esther Williams, of course, was married to Fernando, but I thought it was Arlene Dahl, but he was married to both of he them. He was married first to a doll and then right. to a, uh, right. a synchronized swimmer. That's right. And Bob is going to sing a song that we love so much at the C Cicada Club. Yes, I'm going to be singing a very, very forgotten old chestnut called Crest of the Wave. Go to town, pal. All right. Uh, speaking of uh, forgotten old nuts, Johnny, how's your love life? No, I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry, please, Dean, hit it. Do I seem to effervesce? My little baby said maybe, and maybe means yes. She's a dream to gaze upon. She's lovely, she's gorgeous, and from now on, oceans of kisses and oceans of love, and I'm on the crest of a wave. Those red lips that lure me, and blue eyes above, and I'm on the crest of a wave. Once it was low tide, I couldn't win. Now it's high tide, and here I come rolling in with oceans of kisses and oceans of love, and I'm on the crest of a wave.
oceans of kisses and oceans of love. And I'm on the crest of a wave, a wave, a pretty little wave, those red lips that lure me, and blue eyes above. And I'm on the crest of a wave. Once it was low tide, I couldn't win. Now it's high tide, and here I come rolling in with oceans of kisses and oceans of love, and I'm on the crest of a wave. Wonderful, Bob. I'm on a crest of a wave. That was a marvelous song. I don't know what year that was written, but I'm sure somebody in this room does. 1927. Thank you. Well, you know, Bob, you know I love those old songs because that's how I got my start back in the late 1960s. And I want to say, how do you feel about doing a, a few tunes from the 20s with me? I would be honored, Johnny. Marvelous, Bob. Even though you asked about my love life, let me tell you, it's as good as I can afford it to be. <laughs> and now, on with the show, my boys. Tut 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 say goodbye. Tut 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 say don't cry. The choo choo train that takes me away from you. No one can tell how sad it makes me. Kiss me today and then do it over again. And won't you watch for the mail? Cause I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, well, you'll know I'm in jail. I love her. Goodbye, Tutty. Goodbye. Tut, tut, tutsy. Don't cry. Five foot two, oh. eyes of blue. But oh, what those five feet can do. Has anybody seen my gal? Turn up nose, turn down hose. Never had no other bows. Has anybody seen my gal? Now if you run into a five foot two covered in fur Diamond rings and all those things I bet your life that isn't her no. But could she love, could she woo, could she, could she, could she coo Has anybody seen my gal? I'm the Sheik of Araby Your love belongs to me At night when you're asleep into your tent I will creep I want to talk to you now Stars that shine bright above Will light my way to love Cause you'll rule this land with me I'm the sheik of Arabi Somebody stole oh. my gal Never gonna find her, never gonna find her Somebody stole my pal He's Johnny Ray Somebody Whoa. came and took her away. She didn't even say she was leaving the kisses I love so. I pay for mine on Thursday. He's getting now, I know. No, no, I didn't have a thing to do with and it. And gee, I know that she Whoa. would come to me, not Araby. Her broken heart and lonesome pal. Slayer. Somebody stole my gal. I found my love in Avalon beside the bay. And I left my love in Avalon. And I sailed, I sailed away. I dream of her and Avalon from dusk till dawn. And so I guess. I'll travel on to Avalon. Beautiful. Well, there goes the left lung. How about that note? I love you it. You know, Bob, I love these old songs, but... But you know, Bobby, I want to ask you something. I want you to sing that old tune I love so much back at Tate College. Varsity Drag. The Varsity Drag. Take they, me home. They look a little tired, Johnny. Yes, I think they, they got They can pep. handle it. Come on, kids. You know how to All do right. it. All right. Let's see if they got the pep. You got June Allison to sing it for you. Go ahead, Bob. We've always thought knowledge was thought we should be taught to dance right here at Tate. We're up to date. We teach a great 
new dance Don't think that I brag I speak of a drag Why should a sheik learn how to speak Latin and Greek badly? Give him a neat motto to speak Say it with feet gladly First lesson right now You'll love it and how you'll love it Here is the drag See how it goes Down on the heels, up on the toes That's the way to do the varsity drag Hotter than hot, newer than new, meaner than mean, bluer than blue, gets as much applause as waving the flag. You can pass many a class, whether you're dumb or wise, if you'll all answer the call when your professor cries. Everybody down on the heels, up on the toes, stay at the school, learn how it goes. That's the way to do the varsity drag. You know, Johnny, this is a, a medley, so... Yeah, I know. We should sing together at the end. What do you think? I will do my best. Do you know the words to this one? No, but I'll try. I'll pitch them to you if you forget. Right. Thank you. You can pass many a class when they are dumb or wise. So far, so good. If you all answer the call when your professor cries. Everybody up on your heels, down on your toes. Stay up to school, learn how it goes. Everybody do the varsity. Way to make it through the varsity. Everybody do the varsity ride. so much, Bob. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, thank you so much. What a pal. Bob Picardo, Robert Picardo. He's such a great guy. He's heading down to uh, Texas in two weeks to go film a new movie. He's going to play a priest. I can only imagine which one. He'll be using that famous line, so tell me, Father O'Malley, what was it that made you want to become a priest? What is it? Oh, all right, good. Boys, I gotta tell you, you sound terrific. I love our band, everybody. I love this band. We're gonna close this set with this tune and then we'll be back after a short break. I want you to drink as much alcohol as you can because I'm not allowed to, Dean. I gotta be good, folks. America's counting on me tomorrow. Oh God, I've done this to death. What a day this has been, what a rare mood I'm in. Why, it's almost like being in love. There's a smile on my face for the whole human race. Why, it's almost like being in love. All the music of life seems to be like a bell that is ringing for me. And from the way that I feel When that bell starts to feel I could swear I was falling I could swear I was falling It's almost like being in love Go boys, take me home! Let him live a little. Go. That couple wins a prize. Can't get Hutton Wilkinson to stop dancing. He's a machine, folks. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in Why it's almost like falling in love Like you guys did a million years ago And there's a smile on my face For the whole human race Yes, it's almost like being in love All the music of life seems to be Like a bell that is ringing for me And from the way that I feel yeah. When that bell starts to peel, I can swear I was falling. I can swear I was falling. It's almost like being in love. Thank you very much. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be back with some very special guests. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the Johnny Holiday Program here at the Cicada Club featuring Dean Mora and his Melody Boys.